from the first whistle, the lads of Fatima College were intent on making their intentions known. Malachi Leach capitalizing on a poor clearance by the combined keeper to set up Shane Grand Sol for the opener. Malachi would show up soon after that to receive another gift from the combined custodian to extend his team's lead. The girls of the combined squad fought back. Alex Avey sent through by Nicole Williams to open their team's account. The Fatima lads, however, will restore their two-goal cushion immediately. Ransol shaking off his defender for the pass to beat the combined keeper for his team's third. And to make things a bit more comfortable, Nasik George pops up to beat the keeper for Fatima's fourth item. And that's how it would stay to the end of the first quarter. Fatima 4, combined 1. When the second period got going, the girls came out to prove that they could tussle with the boys. Avi coming up with a loose ball to notch her team's second item on the second try. Matthias Bernard then helps himself to the loose ball to restore Fatima's three-goal cushion. 5-2 Fatima. But the combined squad came right back. Jiri Hall picks out Avi with a backdoor pass to stay close to Fatima. However, before the half-time whistle, Fatima would inch further ahead once again. Malachi Leach with his second. 6-3 Fatima at the half-time whistle. When the third quarter got going, Fatima would step on the gas to push four goals past the combined custodian. Shane Gransall and Malachi Leach doing the damage for the lads from Mukurapa Road. The combined squad would only respond with an additional two items in the period. Soleil Riley getting the job done for her team. 10-5 Fatima at the end of three. The last period would bring more misery for the combined squad as the Fatima lads were merciless, hammering home an additional five unanswered goals to end the match with a comfortable 15 goals to five victory over the combined team. Gransol, Leach and Raphael Holder doing the damage. Meanwhile, on the other end of the pool in another D Division match, QRC in the Black Hats took on St. Mary's College. Jean-Paul Pierre doing the job for the Saints, notching one of his three items here. However, his efforts would not be enough to overthrow the Royalians as that encounter finished 7-3 in favor of QRC. Luke Gibson with four and Alejandro Pereira with three doing the job for QRC. Chiwale Bartholomew, TTD Sport.